I'd like to introduce you to Katie Bertle, one of the vocal tutors at ICMP. Katie is a highly skilled singer and vocal coach and has worked with Young Voices for many years. Katie releases her own music and has toured in some of the most incredible venues all over the world. She's going to be taking you and your primary school child through some really enriching steps in learning more about music. We hope you have lots of fun. Hello, I'm Katie and I'm going to be taking you through today's music lesson. This is a community outreach project by ICMP London and these three videos are for children and families of a kind of young primary school age. So what are we going to learn in today's lesson? Well, we're going to learn some specific musical words as well as having lots of fun. We're going to do a bit of pitch. We're going to learn what a scale is. We're going to be doing some rhythms. We're going to learn how to clap on the offbeat like a proper pro musician. And we're going to learn a brand new song. So let's get started. First of all, let's have a little wake up, shake up, warm up song. Are you ready to start warming up your body? Let's go. We've got to warm up our bodies, we've got to warm up our bodies, we're gonna stretch real high up to the sky, then around those arms like a butterfly, we're gonna twist to the left, twist to the right, hold your arms out then hug really tight, hands on your hips and circle round and round, we're warming up nicely now, now I just want you to move your body whatever feels good. To warm up our bodies, we've got to warm up our bodies. We're gonna scrunch up our shoulders nice and tight, then shake them down because that feels right. We're gonna slowly bend down and touch our toes, slowly back up, then strike a pose. Dance on your own because it's time to have some fun. Because warming up's over and done. Yeah, well done, everyone. So today we're going to be talking a bit about pitch and how I like to think of it, how we can start to think of it, is thinking about a roller coaster. Who likes roller coasters? I love them, find them a little bit terrifying, but they're great fun. So let's create a little roller coaster. So imagine that your hand is like the carriage where everybody sits, the little people are sitting in your carriage. So they've been waiting, they've been waiting in the queue for ages. They finally got in your carriage and we're about to start the roller coaster. We're gonna go, oh, So can you tell that we're kind of in a low part of our range when we start here? Oh, like a big giant, fee, fi, fo, fum. But then as we're going up in our pitch, up in our range, oh, we're going up. And now we sound like little squeaky mice. <laughs> and we get a little bit, when we're scared, we sing up there. And then when we have our big, that's going from the top of our ranges at the really high pitch down to a low pitch. Okay, let's just have some more fun with our roller coasters now. So what's coming up in the ride is there's a small little bump, then there's a medium bump, then there's a big bump, then there's a really big bump. Okay, let's start with a small one. I think we're going to do that one more time, but we're going to have a big splash at the bottom. Ready? Oh, splash! Great. So now we've had fun with our roller coasters, we can kind of tell that difference between that low or oh, all the way to the top, which is a wee, really high. And we can blend the sounds between to a low to the high and all the way back down again. So now we've started to think about pitch. Let's think about steps. So we're talking about steps now, but if we still think about our roller coaster for, for a little bit longer, if we were on the roller coaster and we got stuck at the top, <gasps> scary times, how would we get down? 
we'd need to walk down some steps. So we could have some steps, some, a stairway or a ladder that, that matches the bottom to the top as well as having that big, big slide. So let's take it down a bit and have the smallest bump. Ooh -wee. Ooh. So that's the kind of range that we're talking about in pitch. That's the lowest and that's the highest in our little bump there, in our roller coaster. So if we had a step, so it would go, Ooh, going up the stairs, going down the stairs. So I'm still going to the same top part of the roller coaster. Ooh, but now I split it up into steps. Going up the stairs, going down the stairs. Can you sing that with me? And maybe try and do some steps with your hands as well. Going up the stairs, going down the stairs. And in your house, if, you, if you're lucky enough to have some stairs in your house, then maybe you could sing this as you go up the stairs and go back down the stairs again. So let's sing that one more time. Going up the stairs, going down the stairs. Going up the stairs, going down the stairs. Really good. Now, what if we change the words to numbers? How many numbers did we have? Going up the stairs, we had five. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. So each note, each pitch within this range has a certain number. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we could make an even smaller roller coaster bump and just go to three. What would that sound like? One, two, three, three, two, one. What about four? One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Now let's go all the way back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, if we add three more steps in our staircase, how many would we have? Five plus three is eight. Well done. So we've got eight steps now. Let's try and sing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go back down. Eight backwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now, one to eight is actually really important when it comes to our music, and that is a full scale. It's actually a full major scale, but we're going to that maybe in one of the next lessons. So that's a full scale. We've got how many notes? Eight notes in a full scale. Let's sing that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I went straight back down there. Now I've written a little song that has this whole scale. Now it's coming up. So now we're going to learn a song with all those eight notes and scale in them. This is how it goes.
fantastic. Now you know a song that you've got to remember because we might be singing it later on in the lesson. And we know we've got how many notes in a scale? We've got eight, and it goes from a low pitch to a high pitch. Now that we've made up a song with the whole scale, and then we had that low, high, low, which wasn't like a step, was it? It was like jumping all the way to the top of the stairs and all the way back down. So that jump is actually in a musical word, it's called an interval. So we've got steps and then we've got those intervals, those big jumps. Now if we mixed up steps and jumps, then that's how we get a song. If we had, remember those five, uh, remember when we put it into numbers, if I went one, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's that sound like? One, one, five, five, six, six, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one. That is, with that jump at the beginning, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. You see how we can make a song with all these steps and these jumps? Now here's a little thing for you to do once the lesson's finished. You can go and think about your favourite songs and how you would put them on the stairs. Does it have jumps in them like Into the Unknown? That's a big jump, isn't it? Into the Unknown, a really big jump. Into the Unknown. So we can think about steps and jumps. Now that we know more about pitch and scales and thinking about whether we're singing low or high or where we are in between, so we've got our kind of notes and our sounds, let's think about rhythm. Rhythm is a bit of a tricky word to spell. You know how I like to think about it? Is I can break down the letters as rhythm helps your two hips move because that's true. Rhythm helps your two hips move. Because that's what makes us dance, isn't it? That rhythm, that's what makes us wanna clap to the music that we love. And that's what we wanna dance to. We don't wanna dance to just one long note, do we? It's the nice rhythms that make music exciting. So let's play a rhythm game. I'm gonna clap first, and then you're gonna clap back to me. So let's do a little practice. So if I do this, and you've gotta clap it back, I'll do that again. Good, now the trick with this is we kind of wanna stay in time. We don't wanna slow down or get faster. So once I've done the clap, to make sure you're still in time, I'm gonna do this little sort of clicking tick-tock to make sure that we don't speed up or slow down. So I'm gonna start off easy and then it's gonna get more hard. Are you ready for the first one? Let's go. I'll do it again. Good. Good, a bit harder. Oh, I'm gonna get harder. That was a quick one at the end. Oh, that's hard. Swinging. Good, last one. was really fast. How do you get on with that? I hope you found that fun. So there's a lot of concentrating, lots of listening, lots of processing what those rhythms are, what those patterns are. And you can play that game after this lesson is over. So you can pick somebody in your house and try and have this like rhythm off. What I want to talk about now is clapping on the off beat. This is something that all musicians do when it comes to clapping along to pop music, funk music, soul music, any of those types of music, we always clap on the offbeat. 
amped to get into that a little bit more, let's focus in on what I was doing on the in the previous game when I was doing this little tick tock tick tocks. That's me keeping time with the beats in the bar. And when we say bar, that's when these kind of strong moments come. One, two, 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 two. If you think about a drum beat, you'll have one. Two, 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 two. How many do I have between those strong beats? One. Let's do it again. One. Did you count? There's four. One, two, three, four. Great. We're gonna do it with some music. Now we've got some music playing, so we can think about those one, two, three, four. First of all, we've got to think, where does the one start? It's normally on quite a strong beat in the music. Can you hear one coming up? There we go, that was a one. So let's see if we can find the next one, and then we're going to do four. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now we're off. One, two. At the same time, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ooh, your hands will hurt if you do that all day. So let's just break it down into two beats for every four. So let's start with a one again. One, two, three, four. Then we can feel where that strong beat is. already this week and it's time to learn a song for the end of the class. So we're going to learn a brand new song and we're going to learn what a chorus means and we're going to learn what a verse means. Let me sing for you the chorus. Okay everyone, this is the chorus of the song and I'm going to be doing it also with the dance moves. Are you ready? word chorus is the main part of the song that everybody knows the words and it keeps repeating and we hear it over and over again that's called the chorus and you've heard it already with the music let's now learn it we're gonna start here I'm gonna be doing this with my hands for now so that we can tell whether we're going up the stairs or down the stairs or doing a big jump or anything like that so it goes I want to learn a brand new song. Sing that back to me. I want to learn a brand new song. Great. Next bit. So I can sing it all day long. One more time. So I can sing it all day long. Couple little jumps there. Do, 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 do. Goes up then down. Sing it all day long. Let's put those first two sentences together. I want to learn a brand new song so I can sing it all day long. Great. What's the next section? 
it does it repeats the beginning again i want to learn a brand new song and then the end is just a little bit different it goes and teach my friends to sing along and teach my friends to sing along great let's do the whole chorus now i want to learn a brand new song so i can sing it all day long i want to learn a brand new song and teach my friends to sing along great now let's do it with some moves we're going to start off with the offbeat claps remember the offbeats are on the what are they on the one no they're on the two and the four one two three four Great, so let's add that to the beginning. I wanna learn a brand new song so I can sing it. And then we've gotta go all day long, like a big, oh, we're looking at the sunshine all day long. Then it's back to the claps. I wanna learn a brand new song. And then we're gonna teach my friends to sing along. So we're teaching them with a different hand at a time, and then we're gonna conduct them. Sing along and teach my friends to sing along. Great, let's do the whole song together with the moves. I wanna learn a brand new song so I can sing it all day long. chorus we now need to learn the verse now a verse is something that comes in between the choruses and it's often the same tune but it's got different words so the chorus normally has the same the same words every single time and it keeps coming back whereas the verse kind of might explain a little bit more about the song so we've got the verse let's listen and watch what the verse is for our song. So this is the verse and it keeps coming back but with different words every time. This is how it goes. What did you learn today? I learned about pitch and scales. What did you learn today? I learned about pitch and scales. Great, that's how it goes. Let's do it again. some different words this time. So let's just do that first half. What did you learn today? Can you sing that back to me? What did you learn today? Great. Next bit goes, I learned about pitch and scales. I learned about pitch and scales. We've got that do, do, do. So we're playing with those jumps there. Let's sing both of those together. What did you learn today? I learned about pitch and scales. What did you learn today? I learned about pitch and scales. So the second time we do it, instead of pitch and scales, we're getting to the end of it, so we're going down, pitch and scales. Let's just do that second half. What did you learn today? I learned about pitch and scales. Great! Now let's learn the actions at the same time. So it goes, what did you learn today? Like we're asking a question. What did you learn today? Next bit goes, I learned about. So learned has two taps, about has two taps. I learned about pitch and scales. Pitch and scales, lots of dance moves, moves this time. What did you learn today? 
I learn about pitch and scale. So you just repeat that for both times. Let's all do it all together. What did you learn today? ready for the whole song now are you we're gonna start with the chorus and then we're gonna go to the verse and before we come back to the chorus we're gonna do a little bit of remembering what we learn about that particular thing so for pitch and scales for example we might sing the singing really high and singing really low high low and then we do the chorus and we'll do that for each lesson are you ready Okay, let's do the whole song now, starting with the chorus. I want to learn a brand new song. Let's get clapping. I want to learn a brand new song so I can sing it all day long. I want to learn a brand new song and teach my friends to sing along. Are you ready for the verse? The verse comes up next and this time we're going to be talking about pitch and scale.
We've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed yourself and feel like you've learned so much more about music. If you've enjoyed today, do check out the ICMP channels. We're on all social media. You'll find loads of content there. And hopefully I will see you for next week's session. Thank you very much. Goodbye.